This is too good to be true. I've heard legends of this place, but I didn't think it was actually legit. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Pokemon Center. Oh my god, I'm totally geeking out hardcore right now. There's Pokemon as far as the eye can see. Let's take a look around. Get out of the way boys and girls, the real master has arrived. I'm level 31 on Pokemon Go, so don't mess with me. Alright, I thought I'd come somewhere a little bit quieter. Welcome to my Airbnb here in Osaka, and I've got some really good news. There's an amazing new app that's just been released that's going to allow you to edit your 360 photos not only as tiny planets or whatever viewpoint you like, but you can also animate your 360 photos and move between several points within the image. This is like Insta360 Studio for photos. We've been waiting for this for a long time. It's always been hard to do this, but now you can do it very easily on your phone. And this magical, amazing app is called, drum roll, <laughs> Theta Plus. That's right, our friends from Rico have now amalgamated the two apps into one. They used to be Theta Plus and Theta Plus Video. Now it's just Theta Plus and you can work with both photo and video inside of it. And not only that, but you can do this with any 360 camera. It's not just the Rico Theta cameras. No matter what you have, it will work. I tested out a few different images from different cameras already and it worked. So that's extremely good news and even better news is it's free for both iPhone and Android. We'll link it down there. So let's jump straight into it. I've just opened up the Theta Plus app and straight away you'll find your camera roll where it will detect all the 360 photos. You want to navigate to the photo that you want to edit and I like this one here and straight away it looks really similar to the way it did before. So we have a few different viewpoints. We have mirror ball, little planet, dual screen, flat, and straight. Personally, I like little planet the most because it allows you the most amount of control. So you can zoom in real tight on anything you like or you can zoom right out. However you like, it's very easy and intuitive. You just use your finger and there in seconds, I've already got an inverted planet that I'm really happy with. At the very bottom of the screen, you'll notice a few things. Firstly, we have filters. These are kind of like presets, like Instagram filters. But personally, I prefer editing colors manually, which is where the next option comes in. So tap that one there. And now we have control over our exposure. Already that is better, much better. Contrast, color temperature, great. Highlights and shadows. Finally, saturation there. Bring up the color of those Pokeballs, make this image nice and vibrant, and I'm happy with that. So finally, in the bottom right, we can choose our frame. So we can keep it vertical, we can make it square, we can make it horizontal, and so on. I'm gonna make it square, because I'm gonna post it on Instagram, and already, I've got an image that I'm really happy with. So I'm gonna hit the Save button up the top right, and this is gonna to save to my camera roll. Bam, I've got an awesome inverted planet ready to go for Instagram. But what if, however, we wanted to move between several points of this 360 photo? Well, that's where animation comes in. And at the moment, no animation is selected. Go over to animation, and straight away, you'll see a whole bunch of presets that are pre-arranged movements. But personally, I like having control over the image myself, which is why I'm going to choose customize and do my own custom movement. So firstly, I'm going to go into little planet mode as I did before. And what you'll want to do is choose your first viewpoint. So I'm gonna start in really close on my face, like uncomfortably close. And when you're happy with your first point, press the crosshair in the bottom right. So that's gonna be our first frame. Now let's choose our second frame. I'm gonna go into an inverted planet like that. So I want that to be the next point it transitions to. So again, I'm going to hit the crosshair. And why don't we add another one? You can add as many as you like. So. Maybe I'll do a spin into this frame here. So I'll hit crosshair again. And now let's play it back and see what it looks like. 
so straight away there we go it's a nice smooth camera movement into the inverted planet and then it moves up into our final frame however you may have noticed when I manipulated the third frame I did a full 360 before I got there and it's just gone straight up instead of doing a spin this is where we want to customize our transitions to customize a transition press the black and white arrow in between the two frames and you'll see at the top there it says direction, it went the shortest way. We want it to go the longest way to get from points A to B. So I'm going to select long way, and there you go. There you can see now, it's doing the full 360 as I intended, and it's going into my final frame. Underneath that you can see speed, so we can make it a fast transition or a slow one. Let's make it fast, just get it over and done with. Next we have easing, and this is where we customize the kind of movement between the two points. So we can make it fast and jarring, we can make it smooth and then fast, we can make it fast and then smooth. And you'll see there's a bunch of presets here that will reflect those movements. Finally, at the very bottom, we have stop, and this means how long it will pause on each individual frame. Once you're happy, press done, and you'll notice in the middle of our frame, we have that blue line. This indicates our movements. So it's essentially showing us this is the track we've just created. To adjust any individual thing within our animation, you'll want to go to the timeline down the bottom, and now I have one of the frames selected. I can adjust that frame. Say I want my head to be even bigger than it already is. I can do that. If I want to adjust the transition, I just press the transition, and now I have the adjust transition options. I think I'm happy with this. This is a nice little 10 second animation. I can upload to Instagram and bring my 360 photo to life. So I'm going to hit finish up the top right. And again, we have our filters, we have the presets, but also we can do our custom color correction and custom aspect ratio. Square is Instagram friendly, so I would suggest using a square. Now finally, we're gonna hit save up the top right and bam, we just animated a 360 photo in around a minute. Real quick, I wanna show you what you can do with your 360 videos inside of the Theta Plus app. But first, I'm gonna need some footage. Okay, now I've opened the app once again. I've downloaded and stitched my footage and I'm going to import my first clip and just select and go edit video. So with video files, the app allows you to reframe, say as a little planet, you can go dual screen, flat, straight, and mirror ball, the same options we had before. I'm gonna choose Little Planet for this shot here. You can now do a few more things that you couldn't do before in the Theta Plus video app. We have filters, we can choose our in and out points, you can change the frame speed, so I want this to go really fast. And finally, we can add music to our video. This is pretty basic, but still, it's a good way to edit Tiny Planet videos on your phone without having to go to computer. Once you're happy, hit the save button up the top right and it's gonna save to our camera roll. Bam. So how awesome was that? The reframing game has changed. You can now do everything you need on mobile in minutes. So that is awesome. It's gonna to totally change the way I shoot both photos and videos. In my video course, there's an entire lesson dedicated to reframing. And you know what? There are many ways of doing it. You can do it on mobile. You can do it in Insta360 Studio. You can do it in Premiere and you can do it on Facebook. So I'll teach you all about that in my video course. Check it out, link down there. As usual, hit that subscribe button for more 360 tips and tricks. I'll put a link to both apps down in the description so you can find them there. All right, gotta go. Bye.